bit greener out here. More leaves, a lot greener. <clears throat> All right, guys. So it's day four, and we're back at the spot we were at on the first day. So we're gonna check out what's going on. It's been five or six days. So let's check it out. Well, right now I'm practicing patience. Extreme patience. So I've already been here a few times and we're still waiting on magic. The universe is always at the perfect time. So I trust that it will be fine. I'm going to check some spots that I normally find them. I'm just going to slowly walk through and scout a little bit. Let's see if we see any pinners. There might be some pins. Then again, there might be some full fully grown babies out here. Some big groomers. See in other areas there's already there's already some. That's why I'm just like wow, where'd they go, you know? Alright, well, I'm gonna walk around and check it out. Wow, these may pop are really starting to get big. So basically what they're gonna do is create micro environments and it'll be easier for the mushroom to survive underneath all these. So basically the closer we get to harvest, the taller the grasses will be. Exciting. One of the things I love being out here, doing this, is the way everything smells and sounds and feels. I can feel the warmth of the sun on me. It's kind of a chilly day, but I still get that little bit of warmth. And then all the stuff I'm stepping on just smells so good, like fresh earth. And it reminds me of last year when I was hunting. So it's got that nostalgic excitement vibe. So it's both nostalgic and exciting because, you know, it's like another level of the spiral. Here's another year, doing it a little bigger, a little better, but pretty much the same old deal. And, you know, it just feels pretty awesome being out here. Listening to the leaves, checking out nature, being by myself, just having time to think by myself it is super therapeutic.
and it's pretty fun just knowing that there's a huge harvest coming. It'd be fun if it wasn't, but that makes it a lot better. This place is phenomenal. It's gonna be popping soon. I kind of don't want to walk on the grass because the more you walk in your field, the more chances you'll step on the babies and then it will just take longer. So the best bet is when it's close to the time, to stay out of the field until the day of harvest. Yeah, so I would go out there, but like I said, I ain't trying to step on no babies. Wow, these places are so nostalgic. I used to come here when I was a little kid. Never did I know I'd be coming here as an adult. Well, uh, I really don't consider humans adults. They're more like different stages of consciousness and you either have a mature body or a non-mature body. <laughs> so. It's not really, adult is kind of like perversion of language. As is the word drug. If you're talking about mushroom, that's a perversion of language. Let's be honest, guys. You got, God likes truth. I'm sure any type of God that you follow would realize, oh, you know, like, you should realize. Openness and truth and clarity is... It's what it was what God's about. It's not, oh, let's hide and pretend and misname, misname everything. So that way we could pretend some more. No. That ain't how it works, bro. You, you gonna just... Just accept that these things are real. And what they do is real. It's not a joke. They really do help you see better. <laughs> Metaphorically and literally. Take a small amount and your eyesight actually improves your edge detection. It's scientifically proven that you have a Everything's more defined, so you'll be better at hunting, better at survival, better at gathering, just you have increased senses. Of course you're going to be better at things. And then, a little bit heavier dose, if you're slammed into the ground, you have sight on what the nature of reality is or what you should be doing. So yeah, as soon as the time's right. It's a little bit too dry out here. But Shrek lives there. Well, yeah, there's one of his tires. It's probably around here somewhere. Alright, well. We're gonna uh, 
go across the bridge and check out the other side of this creek. Peace. Well, guys, I think I'm heading out. No luck down there today. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. Every couple days, I'm gonna come back and look see. So I'll probably come back on Thursday. It's Tuesday now, and come out here, smoke, look for the mushrooms, and you know enjoy the woods. But yeah, right now it's cold out, and people are randomly coming here to hike. So uh, I'm gonna dip go upload. Unfortunately, I didn't have too much time to look today. I actually have to get over to my buddy's house. Yesterday, I was like, oh, I wonder. I saw I saw my homie. He's like, yo, come on over later. We'll hang out. And then he never hit me up. But he just hit me up now and was like, yo, what's up? Uh, I was busy last night. So I might have been to go work on some music. Upload some videos from hunting and you know keep this whole progress going I really am satisfied like everyone's just helping me out helping me follow my dreams right now even though like I don't really have much to give back to them at the moment uh, I'm very thankful that people are lending their hands letting Letting me use their house to upload videos. People are donating me. I got a dollar yesterday on PayPal from someone, which was pretty awesome. Hey, it's a dollar. A dollar counts. Uh, and people are sharing my music for me. It's been pretty awesome. Now we're just looking forward to this great harvest within a couple weeks. Should be super lit. I probably look crazy right now. My hat on, had bandana on, and it's freezing, so. Whew. It was warm, but fucking sun just dipped with like, peace out, y'all. Have a nice cold day. So now I'm here, I'm like, dude, I'm going home. I got stuff to do. I'm gonna go get changed, head over to my buddies. Fucking lit, fucking lit. We're going up this year, yeah. All right, well, this is pretty much the end of the trail. Talk to you guys later, peace.